for normal, a uh, national normal, and this young man named Calico Castile came to be my intern. Uh, he was just shocked he could get college credit sitting around listening to me talk about weed. He was it's like, wow, I can get credit for that? He is now uh, working with Cannabis Radio. He has been involved in the legal cannabis industry now. He opened up a dispensary at one point. He's been involved with the industry now for four or five years. So kudos to you for getting involved with DFDB Normal. And if you know other college students, they may not know this is possible. It's not like their advisors say, well, you know, you could get credit working for Normal. Right? So uh, bring it up to your colleges. All right, we've got another great speaker here joining us uh, from from Texas Wellness Center, and uh, please give it up for Carlos to tell you a little bit about CBD. Hi guys, uh, oh damn, that's loud. Uh, my name is Carlos Frias, and I'm the owner of uh, Texas Wellness Center. We're a Texas-based CBD company. Uh, our whole mission is to provide a safe and legal alternative for people that are in need of CBDs. Obviously, Texas does not have access at this point to medical cannabis. Uh, we do have a medical cannabis program, Senate Bill 339, but those licenses have not been issued yet. And for patients and people in need of CBDs, uh, hemp-derived CBDs are really the only alternative. Uh, that is our focus, to provide those CBDs in a legal and safe way for patients that are in need. Uh, my background is uh, I was a medical marijuana cultivator in California for over 10 years. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps for uh, between 99 and 2003. And when I got out of the Marine Corps, uh, medical cannabis helped me a lot with uh, separation from the Marine Corps. So uh, I'm a strong advocate for our vets, and we need more people involved uh, in the state talking to our senators, we need to be talking to our representatives, and we need to let them know that uh, us vets are not going to stay quiet. We're not just going to sit by and let them uh, not include us in the medical legislation that's being passed right now. I have a meeting on Monday with Senator Brian Birdwell in Austin, and uh, that is the big thing. We need to get vets on this medical cannabis bill because uh, that is a disgrace and it, it is an offense that we give our, you know, willing to sacrifice our lives for this country, yet we're left out of legislation that uh, we're fighting for the freedom to even be able to put laws like that in place. So uh, we want everybody to please reach out to your representatives, reach out to your senators. Uh, we need to do more. I mean, it's great that we're here and we're, we have a presence, but you need to you need to let them feel your presence in Austin. Call your senators, call your representatives, get meetings, stay in their ears, um, and come by and check out our booth. Let us tell you more about our company and our products. And uh, that's about it, guys. Yeah.